Hey everyone and welcome to this video, I'm Inkslaura123. This is going to be a book related video so I hope you enjoy watching and if you do please click like and comment and please subscribe to my channel, that would be awesome. So we're going to be doing a few different things in this video. Uh, first of all I'm going to be opening these mystery book bags. Yep, been in my local library today and uh, got two of these. Got a general fiction one and romance. So for those of you that don't know, I do this quite regularly actually, it's 50p, 50p and you get five books, so you don't know what they are obviously, you do take a bit of a gamble, a bit of a chance, sometimes the books are really good, other times not so good, but hey, it's all good fun, so got romance, general fiction, going to be opening them up in a minute, also going to be doing a book haul, um, I picked up some books uh, from the library shelves that I was drawn to. Some of them I'd heard of and wanted to check out for a while. Others I'd never heard of, but I was drawn to them like a magnet. So I picked those up. Um, and, 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 I will show you this quickly. I got this for Nathan in the book sale bit of the library. Um, I don't know if he's going to really like it or think, what have you got me that for? Uh, <laughs> but it's kind of like games like quests in a book it's called the ultimate fantasy puzzle book and uh, it says can you survive the dragon's lair defeat the twisted wizard in dragon quest challenge the powerful sorceress in night quest i don't know if this is his uh, cup of tea or not but we'll see it's got some really cool like illustrations in it and maps and yeah lots of dragons and stuff i don't know um but i thought well he might like it <laughs> so i got it for him Anyway, okay, so let's do the mystery book bag, see what books we have. Okay, so I'm going to do romance first. Okay, now some of the books, if I like them, obviously I'll keep them. If I don't like them, I either give them away to my friends or I just give them to charity shops. So, yeah. Okay, right, romance novels. Let's open the mystery bag. I was actually saying to the girl today in the library about the fact that I do YouTube videos and I open these mystery bags. And uh, I say that some of my viewers are like really upset that their local libraries don't like do this. And she's like, well, get them all to come to South End Library. I was like, it's a bit difficult because some of them are in like America. She's like, oh, maybe they can just fly over. I was like, no. <laughs> right, okay, right, the bag is now open. I'm gonna delve in, see what we get. Oh, I get, oh. This is a large print, Mills and Boons, Jingle Bell Baby by Linda Goodnight. I mean, it's, I mean, yeah. The one thing missing from Dax Coleman's Christmas list, a housekeeper bride. This, I'm not being horrible, this is not my thing. I know instantly with books, as I'm sure you do, you know, if you're a book reader as well. This isn't my thing, really. But there we go, that's the first one. <laughs> Okay, um, my friend's really happy when I do these because, you know, sometimes they get the books that I, I don't want. Right, next up we've got Molly Cannon, Crazy Little Thing Called Love. Apparently she wrote Ain't Misbehaving. I like the cover, it's a pretty cute little cover there. What is this? Here Comes Trouble. Oh, it's set in um, Texas, apparently. Why haven't I got my glasses on? I just realised. Thinking, what am I struggling to read? Duh, because I haven't got my glasses on. Uh, so this is Crazy Little Thing Called Love. Brilliant song by Queen. But anyway, uh, Sweet Sassy and Oh My Sexy. So there's that one. By the way, if any of you have ever read these books that I show you, let, let me know in the comments section. Right, we have got now a medical romance. Emily Forbes, Daring to... <laughs> <laughs> daring to date doctor celebrity oh my some of these do make me laugh though like the titles and the covers and stuff look at that she's like <laughs> okay well my friend kelly absolutely loves all the medical romances so i think that'll be going her way but it does this look quite funny daring to date doctor celebrity all right his name's either doctor celebrity or he's a doctor to celebrities we don't know Right, what's this one? Another medical romance. Kelly's going to be like, yeah. Um, okay, this is... All oh, right, you get two in one. Great value, it says. Great value. Two in one book. All right, Melanie Milburn, the man with the locked away heart. And Molly Evans, socialite or nurse in a million. Well, if that's her, she probably is nurse in a million. <laughs> okay, well, clearly we're not doing too well so far. Okay, apart from this one, I don't really know what that one's about yet. I will look, obviously, after the video. Um, right, what's this one? Love Islands. 
Okay, Love Island's Forbidden Consequences. Oh, well, we had two in one. Now we've got three in one. Three books in one. Wowza. Um, a sizzling night together, apparently. Love Island. I wonder if that's where they got the idea for the show Love Island, this book. Probably not, but there we go. Oh, this is a Mills and Beans and, and all. Okay. Well, there we go. Not really my cup of tea, if I'm honest. Got to be honest. Okay, so let's move on to general fiction, where obviously we don't know what we're going to get. General fiction covers like pretty much anything and everything. So here's the bag. Um, all right, let's open this. Now, I've got to be really careful, because the last time I did this similar video with these bags, um, where they've got the staple things that bloody I cut my finger. So I've got to be really careful when I'm doing this. Ah! And I also don't want it to like flick up at my face or anything. Okay, maybe I'm being overcautious here. Right, we're delving in. If I can open the bag. Ah. Okay, okay. What have we got here? We've got a book called Necessary Lies, The Best Intentions Expose the Darker Secrets by Diane Chamberlain. Apparently she wrote um, the bestseller, The Midwife's Confession. Powerful and beautifully written. There we go. Um, I don't know what that's about, what is it? It's set in 1960 in North Carolina. Newlywed Jane, who's a fresh out of university, so you can have started a career, social worker. Soon Jane is forced to take drastic action before long there is no turning back. Well, I'll have a look at these afters, as I say, but that's that one. Um, right. Oh. This is uh, Kristen Hanna, Home Front. Oh, apparently this was selected for the TV book club Summer Read. Ooh. At home front, I don't love you anymore. One woman's fight for her marriage and her life. There she is. I do like that cover, though. It looks pretty chill and peaceful, doesn't it? Do you know what I mean? Like relaxing, kind of just sitting there contemplating life. So a deeply honest and pr provocative story of a husband and wife in love and at war. Maybe, maybe, it's a maybe, it's a maybe. Right, what we've got here, we've got something with tennis. Uh, Double Fault by Lionel Shriver. Oh, apparently he wrote We Need to Talk About Kevin, which I have heard about and I've never read. Um, I have been recommended um, We Need to Talk About Kevin. Uh, Kevin? Who's Kevin? Kevin. Uh, quite a while. A lot of people have said that I should check that out. What prize do you pay for prize and success over love so it looks like it's a bit of a romance with a bit of tennis oh not so much about tennis <laughs> that changed that um more so marriage a slightly different sport truly remarkable crackles with rage and frustration apparently oh i thought it was about tennis i think there must be some form of tennis connection otherwise why would you put tennis on the front apparently it's about their marriage all right next up we have Susan Salis, The Promise. The only promise worth making is the one you keep. Yes. Um, there were four of the Thorpe family in the Anderson Shelter. So this looks like a war kind of... Yeah. Oh, yeah. Dunkirk. Promise to care of secrets. 1940. Okay. Well, there's that one. Do 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 do. How many have we got left? Oh, oh, just dropped the whole pile of books there. Oh, we've got one more left. So the last time I did a bag like this, well, I've done a few bags. I've got some really, like, cool ones. Oh, this looks a cool cover. Almost English by Charlotte Mendelssohn. And it was shortlisted for the Orange Prize, whatever the Orange Prize is. Uh, it must be good because it's a prize, but I've never heard of it. Home is a foreign country. They do things differently there. I like the cover for a start. The whole design of the cover um, and the girl on the front there is just kind of standing there. I like that cover. Like That is a cover for me that I find pleasing to look at. Um, what's this about? Okay. Problem is that Miss Chain, she can be this. Maybe an immigrant. Oh, that's weird. It says that one of the characters is called Laura. Ah, that's me. Living in London. This is actually pretty cool. So she's, okay, Hungarian. 
All right, so yeah, she's come over like a, an immigrant and, and obviously she's trying to get used to a new way of life and stuff. And her name is, is Laura. She feels like an alien in a strange universe. I do like the sound of this and I love the cover. So I'm I'm not really impressed with many of the others, but this one I do like the sound of. So And I, I think the cover is just beautiful and stuff. So yay, one out of all those. Not too bad. <laughs> so, yeah, I'll keep this one. This sounds pretty cool. I'm, I've, I've read something recently. Um, what was it called? By Sarah Crossnan. I can't remember what it's called now. Mm. But that was about a young girl who had come over um, from a different country and was living in England and had to get used to everything and the language and the way of life and stuff. So I did find that quite fascinating. Um, so there we go. That is the mystery book bag. It's done. Two of those. Um, and if your local library don't do them, say, look, I see this girl on YouTube and she does she does mystery book bag bags from her local library. So you should do them at our library. Yeah. They might not listen to you, but they might. You never know. Anyway, let's do a book haul quick. Um, right, so I've got a bit of a mixture here. I wasn't meant to get any books from the library because I've already got so many books that I own that I haven't read yet. But you know what? They're free. And it's the library and there we go that's my excuse right so this one i have heard of um it's um by an author called sophie hannah who i have read a few of her books the last book i read from her uh was called have you seen melody or did you see melody what was it called I probably got it in here did, oh yeah did you see melody that was the book i read last from her she's a really cool author and a nice lady as well I follow her on twitter so i've wanted to read this for a while I don't know why I never picked it up or bought it or anything, I don't know. But luckily I found it in the library for free. Ha ha. So this is an Agatha Christie, um, I can never say this, Hercule Poirot. Is it Poirot? Poirot. Poirot. <laughs> you know it is, right? Okay. Uh, so um, The Mystery of Three Quarters by Sophie Hannah. I love the cover with like the big gate and stuff. Um, but yeah, this this sounds really cool. It's, it's I'm not going to go into like every single book, but it's obviously like, um, you know, murder mystery who done it uh, apparently there's letters being sent out and so he has to discover who's sending the letters out who's been doing the murders and stuff so um yeah I'm, i think that sounds pretty cool and as i say i i think uh sophie hannah's a great author the other one uh, that i picked up which was literally sitting right next to that one uh is called the doll maker now i had heard of the doll maker but not this version there's probably loads of books but the one i'd heard of was called the doll maker of somewhere or other um so when i first saw it i thought it was that one then i realized it wasn't but anyway so um i think this one still looks really cool it's by nina allen loving that cover i think the cover is absolutely just so pretty and cool um and it's about this it says a love story sorry a love story about becoming real and he makes these dolls and they come to life i think um or he, he makes the dolls and like stuff weird stuff happens i don't know <laughs> i don't really know much about it so I? yeah it's really good it's about dolls um but yeah it's, it's supposed to be quite like a mixture of fairy tale and a bit dark and a bit of romance and um you know i'm obsessed with dolls anyway wasn't afraid to make dolls that weren't comforting she seemed to know that dolls are people just like us it's had a quite a good write-up i looked up online and stuff um so anyway i got that one out and these are the ones uh, from the YA section. I know I'm an adult and I read young adult books. There we go. Uh, it doesn't matter. It's fine. Um, so, I've got this one called Beauty Sleep by Catherine Evans. Look at that cover. That's pretty snazzy, isn't it? I like that. It's pretty cool. And it says on the front, Sleeping Beauty gets a Black Mirror style twist. So, I think this is quite a new book. Let's have a look when it comes out. I've not heard of it. There we go, yeah, 2019. I'm really happy that my local library is starting to get more newer books in now as well, which is brilliant, because for a while they were just kind of having the same books all the time, just a few the odd new ones now and again, but now they're getting books that are, are really new. I mean, for example, today I saw they had the brand new Cassandra Clare book. Now I've already read it, but how cool is that, though? It's literally just come out like last week. Anyway, so this one, Catherine Evans, Beauty Sleep. Um, it's like a retelling of Sleeping Beauty with more like a sci-fi twist. I think the cover is just absolutely awesome, like that pastel eye makeup and stuff. What would you give for the chance to live again? It says, um, who am I, what am I, when am I? Laura. What? That's two Lauras in the books. That's creepy. Da -da 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 -da. Anyway, Laura can't remember who she is, but the rest of the world knows because Laura is famous. A dying girl who is frozen until she could be cured. A real life sleeping beauty. But what happens when you wake up one day and the world has moved on 40 years? Could you build a new life while solving the mystery of what happened to the old one? This is basically a darkly twisted thriller. 
um, plunging a pre-tech girl into a futuristic world. I think that sounds really cool, and I, I reckon once it like gets released, I think people will start talking about this. So you heard it here first. You saw it here. Oh yeah, just saying. Um, right, the other one I found is uh, called Sarah, by Sarah Mo Mussy or Moosey called Bomb. Apparently, she wrote a book called Siege, which I've I've not heard of, but it's had quite a good write up. Um, and this is about a girl who goes on a first date, and then when she gets there, something she wakes up or something, and she's got um, a bomb, like a suicide vest, attached to her, and she's strapped to it, and it says she gets this voice in her ear saying you have been chosen do exactly as we say you're strapped to a suicide vest with one mobile call we can blow you sky high like how freaking scary is that um so it's kind of what she does you know oh she's wrote a book called riot as well i think this sounds very different and very interesting um so yeah i just think this is really interesting it says here this morning, the life list, 20 things to do before I die. I honestly, I think this is going to be good. And now this, <laughs> I, I went to the toilet, right? And right near the toilets in our library upstairs, um, there's like the uh, graphic novels, comic books, that kind of thing. And I don't read graphic novels or anything. Nathan does sometimes, but I, I don't really. Um, but I just saw this and I was just drawn to that cover. I just thought it was a really cool cover. And it reminded me of Alice Cooper makeup, right? Um, anyway, so I looked at it. And lo and behold, it says, based on a story by Neil Gaiman and Alice Cooper. Hey, I love Alice Cooper. Poison running through my veins. Anyway, that was random, sorry. But yeah, this is, um, like, it's really cool. Like, it's not going to take me long to, like, there's mainly pictures, obviously, um, because it's a graphic novel. But yeah, Neil Gaiman and Alice Cooper get together and they've wrote this and drawn this and... Yeah, it says Stephen is afraid, afraid of ghost stories, afraid of growing up, just afraid. That is until he meets the mysterious showman and his theatre of the real. Stephen takes a ticket and watches the show on a dare, but getting out of the performance will be harder than ever imagined. And Stephen learns what it is like to be truly afraid. I honestly, I just, I just think this sounds absolutely brilliant. I would read that as a proper book. I would have preferred that story, like, in a book. Uh, I mean, I know this is a book, but you know what I mean, right? Um, yeah, Alice Cooper, man. That's well cool. Okay, talking about dark stuff, I've got two more books left to show you. Uh, this is... I've never heard of this. It looked really creepy, and I was like... Yeah, <laughs> I'm going to get it. It looks creepy. So, I think this is quite a new book. Oh, no, there we go. 2018. It's newish. It's newish. Um, it's got a creepy cover. The Monsters We Deserve by Marcus Sedgwick. It says it's an ambitious and original take on the gothic. It's got such a creepy cover. What is that thing? It's got like antlers and like weird hand things and I love it. <laughs> I love spooky dark stuff. Um, I mean, if it just I don't know why I find that creepy. We just turning over the page and seeing like a random letter just whoop. Creepy. Oh, look, 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 look at this. All the, like, mystery, scary-looking trees there. Oh, I think it's going to be cool. I, I I love dark, creepy stuff. Don't get much creepier than that cover. So, um, it says, I'm suddenly aware of the space of the house, the air it occupies, and which occupies it, of the hanging weight of it, high up here at 5,000 feet, and the empty night rising out of the ground as dusk arrives in the mountains, and down in the gorge ringing chasms, throat roaring water into fathomless depths, unseen by mortals, and all but the bravest of beasts, while I sit and converse with a woman long dead. I think that was quite a theatrical reading, to be fair. Props to myself. Um, so yeah, never heard of it, never seen it anywhere. <laughs> It's probably going to be really creepy, and that's why I like it. And the last book, um, I've wanted to read this for a little while, and uh, I've never picked it up, but I thought, you know what? I'm going to pick it up, because it, it does sound really cool. And uh, Sarah Epstein, I've read her before, um, good author. This is called Small Spaces. Um, a few of the booktubers that I watch, they, um, they've they mentioned this book. It's supposed to be very good. We don't pick and choose what to be afraid of. Our, fear, uh, our fears pick us. Um, so it says Tash Carmody has been traumatised since childhood when she witnessed her gruesome imaginary friend. I mean, any books that's got an imaginary friend in it, it's got to be good. Do you know what I mean? Um, when she, yeah, imaginary friend Sparrow lure young Mallory Fisher away from a carnival. At the time, nobody believed Tash and she has since come to accept that Sparrow wasn't real. Now, 15 and mute, Mallory's... Uh, 
never spoken about the week she went missing as disturbing memories surface tash starts to see sparrow again and she realizes mallory is the key to unlocking the truth about a dark secret contacting them sorry contact them connecting them does sparrow exist after all or is tash more dangerous to others than she thinks this is supposed to be a beautifully crafted psychological thriller um i, I just think it sounds really interesting and different and uh yeah so i'm trying to think of the other book that i read from her i know i've read her books before so I, I like her writing anyway that's that one so <laughs> that is the end of the video hope you've enjoyed it um tell me what books you know have interested you the most which books are you like oh that sounds all right um also tell me if you've read any of these books now if you have don't give me any spoilers or anything but obviously just say i've read that or i'd like to read that or whatever just comment i love reading your comments okay so before i go very quickly if you are on goodreads come and add me follow me on goodreads and uh, on there you can see what books i've read what books i want to read etc so links down below to goodreads um what else we've got twitter at minxlaura123 instagram minxlaura123 facebook is minx.laura.5 also i now have a patreon if you want to come and show me some love do, 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 do. and support my work on patreon that'd be awesome it's minxlaura123 on patreon <sighs> One more thing, I also have Minx merchandise, hell to the air. If you want to look extra sexy and extra awesome, wear Minx merchandise. Maybe you want to have a cup of tea or coffee. Hey, use a Minx mug. <laughs> I'm really useless at this advertising stuff. Anyway, I've got Minx merchandise available on Teespring. So all these links I'm going on about are down below in the description box. Anyway, that's the end of the video. Hope you enjoyed it. Love you all so much. If you're a bookworm like me, happy reading. Books are awesome. Books are cool. Bookworms rock. Yeah. Okay, I'm going to go and read now, I think. <laughs>